Hello, I'm Lisa Spaniak from Life Like You Mean It, and today we are going to be talking about how we can use the full moon to help us to release anything that is blocking or hindering our sacral chakra. Now, this video has three parts. First, we are going to look at the sacral chakra, what it deals with, what it looks like when it is out of balance. Two, we are going to look at the deep shadow work that you can be doing as we are gearing up towards the full moon. And three, we're going to look at a wonderful technique that you can use so that you can release with the full moon. So let's get going. So part one, what is the sacral chakra and what does it deal with? What does it look like when it's out of balance? So our sacral chakra is our second chakra that is basically right over the womb space. So an inch or two below the belly button. And this is dealing with sexuality, creativity, and abundance. So our sacral chakra or our womb space is essentially where we are carrying the emotions, the energies of other people, as well as our own wounds, whether it is from previous experiences that we've had in our own life or from actual previous lives, right? These are wounds that deal with sexuality, creativity or, or creative blockages, neediness, abuse will lay here, lack of self-esteem, lack of confidence, things of this nature will be in this womb space or this sacral chakra. So part two of this video, we talk now about the shadow work that we would need to do for this. So you can see, hopefully, that if you are relating to this, if you're resonating with this, that you are really you feel your chakra is overactive and you are really resonating with other people's emotions and it's coming across as you being very moody, or perhaps you just have no luster, right? You're, you're lacking creativity in your life and it, you really have low self-esteem and so an underactive chakra, then we really want to be looking at this. And of course, if you're holding on to wounds, including the energies of other people because you're so attached to them, drawn to them, then we really want to be able to clear this out. So the shadow work that we can do is actually connected with the releasing work that we can do. So let me explain. Our wombs, our womb energetic space is built not just for us to be fertile, right? Fertile with our ideas and fertile with actual life and being able to give birth, right? But it's also a place for us to transmute. So side note, if you are loving this video and you really want to get more in depth about womb healing, then please go and check out my video on womb cup healing rituals just by clicking this or clicking the link in the description. And that will really make the rest of this video make a lot of sense for you. So in essence, the shadow work that we really want to do is to really allow ourselves to connect with what are the wounds that we are holding on to. So again, this can be journal prompts that we use, just like we used in the previous video, which if you haven't seen that, you can go ahead and take a look when we looked at healing the root chakra using same types of techniques using the full moon. So we can use journal prompts, of course, but we can also just connect with our womb space. And so how we do that is we create basically what looks like the shape of our womb with our own hands, and we place that over our womb. And we meditate in this position. And we, what we do is we connect with that womb space and we ask some questions. So very similar to the concept of journaling, but rather than taking time to write it down, what you might want to do is have a voice recorder that is active so that you can actually just ask questions, keep your hands in this position so that you can actually connect with that space, ask your questions, verbalize what the answers are. And then if you do want to go and write them down later, you've got them on your voice recording app so that you can go ahead and access that. 
So part three of our video is how do we actually release using the full moon? So again, we this is a series of videos where we've been looking at the moon. So you've gone back and you have taken a look at that concept of what we are talking about with the full moon. If not, go ahead and do that now. But what we want to do is now that the full moon is here, we want to go ahead and release what we have noticed is being held in this womb space. So these wounds, this, you know, high emotion, whatever it is that we have here. And so I've got a lovely video for you that is talking about the womb space and how you could do this more specifically. So go ahead and watch that. However, a really quick and easy tip for you on how to do this is in the light of the full moon or on the day of the full moon, what you can do is connect again to that space, connect with what those wounds are, or what it is that you are ready to release, because of course, just because you have noticed it's there does not mean that you are ready to release it. So honor yourself, what it is that you are ready to release, connect with that. And then what you can do is an imagine an umbilical cord coming out through between your legs, and into the ground. And that umbilical cord is actually going and attaching to Mother Earth's womb. And so what it's attached to inside you is rather than being your womb space, it's attached to the wounds or whatever is not working for you within that womb space or sacral chakra that you are ready to let go of. And when you feel like you have this connection, really take time, whether you are seated and you can feel it going through the chair, right into the earth, whether you are standing, really feel that connection. And once you've got it, allow what you are holding in that womb space to flow through that umbilical cord out down into Mother Earth's womb with the intention and even a spoken out loud prayer, if you like, that you are allowing Mother Earth to transmute this energy. You are releasing it and setting it free. Now, if you want other ways that you can release, I have talked about this in my initial video that was talking about using the moon to release, right? To do our shadow work and release. So go ahead, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch it now. You can click the link in the description or um, click on our button here and you go ahead and watch that, which will give you a couple of other ideas just in case you're not resonating with the idea of the umbilical cord attaching to Mother Earth, there are other things that you can do to release. And as we move through this series and we move through the chakras, you can do the same thing to release, just you're releasing something different, right? You can find your groove, find the thing that works for you is no problem. But I will be giving you certain suggestions during each video, what is working best for that particular chakra. And feel free to see if you resonate with that or not. I hope that you loved this video. I love serving you with giving you this information. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead, do that now so that you never miss another video coming out. Stay tuned for our next video, which will be what you can do to bring in new intentions to replace what you have just released here for your sacral chakra and bring this to full circle. Bless. Mm -hmm.